Well, uh, to our first uh, conversation now, the Advertising Practitioners Council of Nigeria has mandated that skit creators, social media influencers, bloggers, and others seek its approval before advertising any product or service online. This order was contained in a statement released uh, by the Office of the Director General of APCON. Well, let's hear now from Dr. Olaliko uh, Fadolakwo, Director General, Advertising Practitioners Council of Nigeria, joining us via Zoom. Uh, thank you so much for joining us on short notice. Good morning, Mr. Aladi. How are you today? I'm fine, thank you. Uh, uh, great to have you. I don't know if you have the new Naira notes yet, but uh, I, 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 do, you have, do you have it yet? Yes, I think um, my people went to the bank yesterday and then um, they gave them 200 naira pack. Okay. And where they put like, they insert like two pieces in each pack. Um, that was my first time of seeing the new note. I think they, they insert um, two pieces of um, the new note in each of the packs. So I have like six um, pieces now. Fantastic. Well, I'm, I'm still waiting for, for my piece, but, but let's uh, talk about uh, the, the main issue now, you know, uh, that order for uh, content creators and, and bloggers to get, you know, uh, approval, you know, from your uh, agency first. But why, why is this uh, coming now? Okay, number one, this is not a new law. The first thing we need to understand is that advertising in Nigeria is a regulated industry. Advertising industry is a regulated industry. The second leg is that there are two types of media. We have the traditional media, we have the new media. The traditional media are the media that have been in existence before the new and online digital media. Now, the traditional media includes the broadcast, the print, and the out of home. Now, the new media. All platforms under the traditional media risk currently comply with betting, as in you cannot place an ad on radio, television, newspaper, um, billboard, out of home without compliance. Now, most of the adverts that will ordinarily not be approved for exclusion have found their way to the online and digital media. You can imagine the number of Ponzi schemes that is being exposed on the digital media. Sometimes those influencers come up with some investment, promoting some investment, that after those people, after the people invest in that sector, they just discover that it's a scam. And we have so many shenanigans going on in that space. Let me say, I am a fan of these skit makers and comedians. I watch them, I follow some of them, I, I, I laugh over, I, I appreciate the level of creativity they put in. We are not regulating their activity. We are not regulating what they are doing. We are only saying that when it comes to brand communication, advertising, please, you need to get approval in line with the law. So if you are doing whatever you are doing, we are not coming to the social media platform to regulate social media. What we are just saying is that before you advertise any product, there are needs to ensure that there is compliance with the law. There is a body they call Advertising Standard Panel. On that body, we have representatives of practically all the stakeholders in the industry. The self-regulatory organizations like AAPA, I mean, AAAN, MIPAN, MPAN, and all the, all the other bodies are there. Then on the other leg, we also have the other people there too. As in the government body, we have CBN, we have NAPDAC, we have... So when your product or advert is sent in, they look at it, check it there, they look at it, and they say, okay, this is good to go. But where we have a situation, somebody advertising on social media, this is a drug that can cure COVID, HIV, can cure diabetes and all those things, without making so scrupulous claims. That's what we are saying, that we need to start to um, sanitize that platform. We are, not, we are not coming after the influencers. We are not coming after the comedians. We are not coming after the skit makers. We are not coming after the bloggers. We are not regulating their activity. We are only concerned about brand communication, advertising that they do. That's, that's the whole essence. All right. Well, uh, obviously, they, they do put, a, put in a lot of work uh, for uh, most of these uh, content uh, creators. And uh, obviously, uh, I'm wondering what the approval process, you know, is like. Is it, is it straightforward? Is it, you know, something that could actually uh, delay, you know, the, the profits they make, you know, from, 
you know, getting these adverts? No, the, the, the process is to file in your application. There are different categories of um, um, vetting process, procedure. First of all, we have what we call the eight hours, we have the 16 hours, and we have the two weeks. So it depends on what you are applying for. So when you send this your material in, you will need to go through a process or procedure that will, they need to just check the communication, the claims, and everything. So when you send in it, we, we understand the current of time. And we understand the need for us to also up our game. That's why we have the eight hours. So if it is very urgent and needed to be, we can get it done within eight hours. So it is not a function of like I cannot delay the ask for it for. But the thing is that this thing needs to be properly done. So when this communication is out there, everybody knows that if you are talking about medical, I mean drugs and everything, it is confirmed and is, you, you you are speaking to the to, to the right cure. If you are talking about investment, it's like okay, if this thing has been verified and if anything goes on, there is a body you can you can you can petition so that you can you can find out. So it is not we just try to ensure that there's sanity in that space. And and how do you see the content creators and bloggers? How do you see them responding, you know, to this? Well, it has been it's been neither here nor there. Number one, you understand that whenever there's a policy in Nigeria, the first thing is push back. Some people lay this on the federal government to say no, they are looking for money. Some people start coming with other but some other people will say no. We agree. You can imagine, you can imagine recently there was a there was a celebrity that was advertising or requesting for advertising the land investment. And after people invested in it, it came out to be a scam. Sometimes recently this year there was there was an this I think first quarter or second quarter there was an advert from one of the banks that was up there and it, it led to practically every part of the country complaining and all. these things if they have gone through vetting procedure they will not have been approved we we are reaching out to the bloggers we are engaging the street makers we 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 need to continue to engage them as stakeholders in that space. We started by talking to the primary digital media space owners, which are the big tech. Um, we are we are we are concluding with them now to agree a vetting protocol for online media. So we are taking it further by talking to the secondary digital media space owner. You know, these hit makers, content producers, and all content, and they are all within that space of secondary digital media space owners. So we are we are still engaging them. We are reaching out to them. We are trying to tell, okay, if there's need for variation, how do we agree? If there is need for you to speak to us, we have sent out letters, we are reaching out to them to see that if we can have a conversation with them to also know if there are challenges that we need to address. It is supposed to be a win-win situation for everybody, for the stakeholders and for the general public. Uh, and what role, you know, would the brands, you know, that, you know, require these services, what role are they going to play in all of this? The brands already knows that advertising either on the new media or traditional media are supposed to be I mean to be approved. So in some cases or in most cases, the big brands are already complying. But we have situations whereby there are some people who one of transactions, scammers, and all those people. You can imagine somebody telling you that this is done for HIV to cure COVID and all those things. So there are some people that are faceless. And they do their business on online. You can imagine. I, I know of somebody who who advertised um, shoes online, and the next thing is people paid him money, and the guy disappeared. And look, the people started looking for him and things like that. So we cannot really. We don't even have record of what happened in that space. So we need to. We need to bring the whole space under regulation for everybody. At least you can ask me now what is happening in the digital media space, and I'll give you figure. So if this is done. Just to help us better manage and take advantage of that digital media space, so everybody will be happy. And and what's going to be you know done to ensure you know compliance? Well, um, we have acquired some technology recently, and we have trained our um, monitoring officer. They are out there, you know, unlike the primary digital media space, which you need to agree a protocol with the big tech. For the secondary digital media space, it's a direct monitoring. For example, you just go to the blog and you check day by day. 
and all their media presses and all the platforms that they are pressing. So this is a lot easier than the primary digital media monitoring exercise. So what we're doing now is that we have built capacity and we have sent our app people out now to ensure compliance. And uh, also, you know, what, what's the practice like? Is this, you know, what's obtainable, you know, in other de developed uh, climbs? Are they also regulated? Yes, there's no, there's no climb, there's no market that uses a uh, uh, business open. As much as um, video call, you can't do video call in some part of the Arab Emirates. You can't. If you go to Saudi Arabia, for example, there's, there's a limit to which uh, you can expose some model. There's a limit to which you can use their women on social media, notwithstanding that the traditional media is completely out of it. So you won't say because it's a digital media space that you can do anything. You, we all saw what happened in Qatar. It's in even 24 hours to the event, to the takeoff of the event. They still come back to say, this is our rule, this is our law, this is how it should be played. There are some things we don't do in Nigeria. For example, we don't do disparage advertising in Nigeria. You can't say your product is better than my product. It must be issue-based. There are some things we also don't tolerate in Nigeria. You cannot just come and market my own product and some other things like that. But these things happen on the social media. So in other prime and market, they even have already agreed protocol to what can be exposed to their community. And everybody apply or comply with it. All right, uh, I want to thank you so much. This is obviously a developing story, and we'll continue having uh, conversations about this and tracking uh, uh, compliance. I want to thank you so much, uh, Dr. Olaliko Fadolakpo, I am DG, Advertising Practitioners Council uh, of Nigeria. It's great having you on the program today. My pleasure. Thank you very much. Please let me just take this message to everyone. We are doing this in the best interest of the general public. We love the comedians, we love the street makers, we love each and every one of them. We wish them the very best. We appreciate what they are doing, putting Nigeria on the global map. But what we are not saying is we are not regulating their activities. We are not talking about what they are doing. But we are just saying that by moving into that brand communication aspect, the, the, the things they are saying needs to align with our code of advertising, the Nigerian code of advertising. Thank you very much. All right. Thank you so much uh, for that. Thank you.